if anyone was on the fence about um, a sway bar like the big wig sway bar, uh, I would say it would be worth every penny. It's, it's night and day difference. Um, you are gonna feel 10 times more comfortable, like no questions asked, just do it. Mike Hallmark from Hellwig Suspension Products. We're here at Genrite in Simi Valley. We're gonna install our rear sway bar on this Ram 2500 and show you how easy it is. First things first, we're gonna get the factory bar off, get that out of the way. We'll match that up to our sway bar so you guys can see the difference. And then we'll get our sway bar in. Factory hen lake, Helligan lake. You tell me which one you trust. I'm Jamie Pellegrino. I work at Jan Right Off Road. Uh, we're driving a Dodge 2500, and we just uh, got the rear sway bar installed from Helwig. Um, so we're going for a little test drive to see how it feels. Uh, I mostly use the truck for uh, either chasing races uh, or my uh, uh, cab over camper. Um, and I feel like the sway bar is gonna help a lot with the camper, but I, I think we're gonna get to that later. Right now we're just going for a little test drive to see, uh, see how big of a difference it makes. I probably spend 30 to 40% of my working hours on the road driving um, across the country. Uh, the, the comfort and stability of the vehicle is crazy important when you're towing and hauling, uh, especially heavy stuff. And even just that little turn onto the on-ramp, uh, it, it felt way, way better. And I'm curious to get to this little road that we're gonna go on. So, you're so planted. Oh yeah. I, I just feel it like, I guess it would be in the truck and the steering wheel. You know, cause like when you get body rolls, sometimes the steering wheel, you know, you get that little, I, I don't know if it's bump steer, but like when the vehicle leans, the, the wheel just turns a little more, but it feels solid on the road. And that's super nice. This is the, I mean, it's the lightest camper I could find. I think it's like 1700 dry. It's probably close to two right now. And payload capacity is supposed to be 3000. Something close to that. But even like going around this corner, like before, like you would feel the truck, like trying to do that. Um, yeah. And then up here, there's uh, like when we cross these like sideways railroad tracks, it used to do this whole like, you know, wibbly wobbly. And like now when I go across these, it's like, boop, back to normal. Like it's totally fine. Where before it would just kind of, uh, um, yeah, whatever the word is for like, just keep doing its thing and you know, it would get worse. And you'd have to like slow down and, but yeah, no, yeah, uh, I can already tell it's 10 times better just just from that. But like literally, uh, you, you, can, you can barely tell it's there. Like you can still, you know, you can tell the truck's heavier, um, but that sway bar like eliminates the, the feeling of the weight being up super high. Yeah, it, like the, it just feels so much more stable. Like even, you know, if you have to like swerve for something, like it, uh, I feel a lot better now than I did before, that's for sure. And I would imagine that it would help a lot in the wind too. Like if it's windy, you know, with the brick of a camper on the back. But yeah, I mean like around all this stuff, it, like you don't even feel the camper up there. Yeah, I can't believe how much flatter it stays through the corners. And then, and that's in the middle setting. It, if anyone was on the fence about um, a sway bar like the big wig sway bar, uh, I would say it would be worth every penny. 
It's it's night and day difference. Um, you are gonna feel <laughs> ten times more comfortable. Um, yeah, that's <laughs> that's what I can say. Like no questions asked, just do it.